I think I think everyone in this room owes it to this incredible form of humility right here. To stand up just like everybody, everybody at home. Stand up. That is exactly, I can guarantee you, anybody with eyes, ears, and a heart, and a mind, they are standing up back home in America right now. Because that is, that what you just did just now is just like incredibly moving and oh, dude, you, there's man. only one word, fantastic. Oh. Green. I think anyone that knows me knows that Julie Andrews and The Sound of Music and that song are just my favorite ever, ever. So to be sitting here at the end of this year and hear you sing that, like I had to hold back everything. The flood was about ready to, I mean, if it wasn't for the makeup, like I would be, like it would be done. But thank you so much. And I think that you have something, like a message for everyone out there. That's, there's a message. It's a beautiful message. And thank you so much. What's up, thank you, Glenn. Coach Adam. Hey, buddy. Um, I don't have much time to say the things to organize my thoughts here, but I'm just going to tell you that what's amazing about this guy is not my belief in, in Jordan uh, is fine, but Jordan's belief in himself and the humble nature with which he projects that into the world uh, is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And he... He deserves to win the show, that'd be great and everything, but he is so unbelievably grateful for all that he has and is just out there doing what he loves and what he's passionate about. And that, to me, is very... Oh. 
Coach Farrell, let's start with you. Man, I, you know, I, uh, I talk to Blake all the time about you, just how crazy it is to me that you have such a classy voice. And I know week after week I said the same thing about you, but it's really, it's really a true testament to, like, your consistency. You consistently come out here and...